hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll learn how to create various inventory uh, things what else we use here we're gonna create various things like stock group stock category stock item youtube measurement and go down i uh, will learn that before that we start uh, we better create a company before that we have to set the company then we'll create a new company for it let me create a company for example example car company example cargo other things are very basic in nature if you do not know kindly refer my previous video so this is how i've created a company example car company this company is basically a dealer in multiple brands of car cars maybe tatas you know tata maruti ford hyundai whatever so this company buys i mean purchases cars for very discount and sells and we again to customer maybe sometime give them discount also so that's how it makes profit so we have to maintain inventory for it so what we'll do we'll go to inventory first and we'll create all these items stock groups stock items unit of measurement and the other two items are missing as i just said stock category and uh, multiple go downs so for that what we have to do guys we have to go back to features accounting features then go to inventory features and under inventory feature uh, you'll see storage and classification here under that first two options maintain multiple go downs make it yes so that location can be added and maintain stock categories also make it yes so that again a stock category can also be added now the thing is here guys that apart from uh, this uh, apart from your stock item and unit of measurement which are basic in nature that means these two are very important without them you cannot do inventory stock groups stock categories are not so important if you if you have the information or you know like your company is so big and it deals in so many categories of items cars electronics you know make consumer durables what not so in that case you have to create stock groups and uh, if it's the item is still large you better create stock categories also okay so that depends on what size of company you are dealing with suppose your company is small and deals only in one kind of item few few items then you rarely go for stock item only but uh, stock item and unit of measurement is basic you have to create and regarding the go down the tally has already made uh, one uh, main location go down by default you can't do it the moment you create stock you choose this inventory option uh, one look at one go down will be automatically uh, created by tally you can't help it if you want to create multiple then you have to go to go downs Anyway, in today's video, I'll show you how to create various things. Uh, for my example, this example car company, uh, we deal in uh, multi brands of car like Maruti, so, uh, you know, Hyundai, Tata, Ford, and all. And uh, for this, what I can do, I suggest that let us make group, uh, stock group of cars. You can make any other also, depending on your choice. But let me create a group called cars under primary. Primary means the topmost, above it, nothing else is there. So I have created one group. Let me display, go down to display. So, guys, you can see I have created one group named Cars. Similarly, I can also create, suppose my company deals in electronics, I can create one more group as electronics, or maybe I can also make it uh, mobile phones, or maybe I can use clothes, garments, whatsoever. But for this example, I'm taking only cars only. So, next thing we'll make is categories. How to create category same way go to create and it'll ask you name of the category under cars let us suppose the brand name of the company of the cars let's call them category first one is maruti under primary second one is tata also under primary let me not not make more than that otherwise you'll get bored so under cars i have created two categories i can make multiple hyundai ford whatnot okay so i have created uh, stock groups and stock categories next let me play stock item but there is an issue with stock item as you can see here suppose I made any stock item I can choose under which group cars under which category Maruti but it will ask for units so we have to make measurement of units otherwise if you select not applicable then in the invoices we cannot put quantity and then rates and then you have to put the entire amount only and no for the classic division of amount will be given so that's why let me go back and prepare units of measurement let me create we sell cars so it is simple one it can also be compound if 
compound also it can be uh, if, if you are selling like uh, you know in one box you are selling five or ten piece at the same and you cannot buy lose so that way you have to use compound but since we are using cars that we sell one only one piece at a time so I'll use QTY quantity how many quantity I'm selling formal name quantity number of decimal place we don't sell in half car or one tire of car so number of decimal place is zero except yes so I have created the let me display so uh, measurement of unit or num name of unit is quantity only we have created not needed more than that now I can create either go down or stock item let me create stock item directly let's create stock item what are the items that we have under it let me create uh, under Maruti we have Maruti, Maruti 800 Maruti 800 is under which group it's under cars under which category it is under Maruti and units it's applicable is quantity rate of duty uh, you can give any number if in the information is given but it doesn't matter there's no inf I mean in the calculation it does not affect the calculation later in the invoice there you have to put separately only opening balance if you have otherwise accept Maruti done then Malino Malino also under cars under Maruti quantity accept so I have created two stock item under Maruti and uh, no no I need to create more also say FARI Safari I'll create under cars and under Tata quantity same way very simple and uh, SIE uh, Sierra also another Tata car one of my favorite car those days uh, under it is under Tata and quantity so I have created few stock items let me see what are the items that you have created so we have created four stock items here Balino, Mauti 800, Safari and Sierra you can go inside and check what is this if you, you can change it also if you want something that you have to go for alter definitely not in display option you have to go in the alter option so I have created stock groups stock categories and stock items uh, unit of measurement also created the last thing I have to create is go down uh, display let's see do we have yes we already have main location this main location go down is created by default again I'm saying let me create one more since I said multiple so uh, maybe I can make Mumbai Mumbai under primary is it under main location no it's primary separate uh, blah blah no no okay so I've created one more go down so if I display you'll see there are two go downs where the stock will create now before uh, we go further I also want to show you like in this inventory info this stock category and go down by default it is inactive it is it default it is inactive it's shown in my example because I have already activated earlier so if stock category and go downs if you don't see here you have to go to stock features under in stock features go to uh, I'm sorry company features under that go to inventory features and the inventory features go to storage and classification here this you can see sorry it's getting it can't it's saying can't allow because already it's multiple product has been created sorry uh, yeah. yeah these two features under storage maintain multiple codons yes I cannot uh, touch it because I have already created multiple codons so if I can't set it no right now tell you will not allow me even maintain, maintain stock categories this also have already created so but tell is somehow allowing me so these two need to be set as yes and if you want to use discount column in the invoices you can use this under invoicing use separate discount column invoices no you can make it yes other all other features are there that we'll talk later so that's it so we have done the stock group stock category stock item you to measure menu go down let us let me show you how this entry will pass uh, let's see accounting watches let's go let's pu purchase something uh, we gotta better go to invoice mode where is my purchase here purchase uh, it's invoice mode maybe supply invoice is 1023 I'm just taking like that date is 1st April okay not important party uh, I have not created so let me create a party uh, Ramu Motors Ramu Motors is the party and he is the creditor because we are buying cars for him maintain bill by when let me set it no only right now 
think it's not needed. So Ramu Motors created. Other is not needed. This is information. If you have provide, otherwise not needed. So purchase ledger, purchase ledger I have not created. Let me again create purchase ledger also. P U R C H A S E. Uh, this caps lock. P U R C H A S E. Mm -hmm. Purchase ledger. That is under purchase only. Inventory was affected. Yes, definitely not applicable. Except. So what we are buying? We are buying suppose Maruti 800. 800 which go down uh, Mumbai uh, we'll, we'll take the Mumbai one quantity suppose we're buying 10 what is the rate we are buying suppose you know, example 250 to like 50,000 each we are buying 10 quantity so total so 25,000 but we are getting a discount of 3% from the uh, this creator so we are only paying 24,000 25 uh, sorry 24 likes 25,000 only so there you go our Maruti 800 first invoice is done, purchase invoice. Similarly, I can buy a uh, Balino also. Oh, sorry, Balino, uh, which go down. I can do main location this time. Uh, quantity, suppose five I'm buying, rate maybe six lakhs. Uh, discount, maybe in this, uh, we are getting four percent. Suppose this is example, it calculates by itself. So, we are buying Balino that much. Then, maybe Safari. Safari we are buying from them. The second in Mumbai. Quantity suppose we are buying eight pieces of Safari at the rate nine lakhs. Discount here we are in five percent. And we are also buying Sierra. Go down main location. I'm just giving at random which go down. Whichever go down you want, you just put maybe you are buying six pieces of this thing at the rate of six like fifty thousand. Discount we are getting is so this is a typical example of purchase invoice or purchase voucher if you reach here it will be total then you can give a narration purchase CRS cost purchase accept yes so my purchase ledger as voucher is done let me go back and see my stock summary uh, we have car of one crore 59 lakh 28,000 uh, detail I have Balino 5 quantity 10 quantity of M8 8 quantity of Safari so we double click on it uh, inward is 10 quantity outward because we have not sold anything as you know this is how it gives stock summary so let me try to show you how to sell also suppose you sell to someone uh, where is the sales one here yeah, F8 reference number 2504 and it's just random number I'm giving Party's name, whom we are selling, I have not created, so let me create Kaku Bhaiya. We are selling to Kaku Bhaiya, who is he? He is a debtor because we are selling him. Maintain bill by means, like it no. So, debtor created. There will be no this thing. If information is there, kindly provide it, otherwise, not needed. Then, sales ledger, we have not created. So let us create S. All C is for creating sales under sales only. Inventory values are affected, of course. All right. So these two are done. So let us sell. What we are selling? We are selling M800. Uh, from which go down? If you press space bar, it will tell you in which go down it is there. So we have two go downs: main location and Mumbai. So in Mumbai, we have 10 quantity. In main location, nothing. So we can't sell from main location because we don't have anything. But in Mumbai, we have 10. So we can sell maybe two quantity. At rate, we can give any, maybe 4 lakh 50,000. 9 lakh. If you want to give discount to your customer, you can give 2% or 1% better. So we have sold two uh, more to 800. Let me sell Safari. Safari. Which go down we have? Again, it's in Mumbai. So let me sell one quantity Safari at the rate nine lakh fifty thousand. Let me not give discount for this. Then let me also sell one for main location also. S I E Sierra. Go down. It's in main location. Let me sell two Sierra to this fellow at the rate of six lakhs fifty thousand. Let me give discount of one percent to this fellow also. 
Uh, suppose these are the three only three items that are sold to Kaku Bhaiya, who is our debtor. This has sold in credit. So let me go down. Total narration car sold. Car sold. Accept. Yes. Okay, sorry. That's it. Done. Let me go back to your stock summary and show you what has happened here. All that one is for total. We have five quantity left, quantity blah blah blah. This is the things under car stock. If you double click on it, it will show you. Uh, for Balino, we bought five quantity and we sold nothing. So if you go back, let's check the other car. For M800, we bought 10 and we sold two. And we have left is eight quantity. For Safari, we bought eight, we sold one, seven is left. For Sierra, six bought, two sold, four is left. This is how inventory is maintained. Let me just show you how balance it looks like. All def one is for full. So we have capital account nothing because we didn't pass any entry for that. Sunday credits, we have 159, blah, 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 blah. We have also profit of two, like five, like 27,000. Stock, we have this much. Sunday debtors, we have this much. So this is your balance sheet. Let me see the profit and loss account. All def one is for total cars, closing stock, sales. And we are having a gross profit of 5 lakh 27,000. Wow, that's great. You can also go to display setting and check the various things like daybook. You can check if you want to check what happened day to day. We purchased and we sold. So, uh, boys and girls, this is how you uh, do the stock in tally. This very basic way I have shown you like how to create all the items on the stock information or inventory information like stock groups, stock uh, categories, stock item, units of measurement and go down and also how to enable and disable multiple go downs and uh, stock category. And also one more thing I showed you is how to put a discount column in the invoice. Then after that, I just created two ledger accounts, oh, sorry, four ledger accounts two in the name of sales and purchase and two in the name of uh, debtor and creditor and then I performed one purchase of multiple cars using invoice mode and then another uh, voucher I used was for uh, multiple sales sale of multiple items sorry I don't have I can't see page up here there we go so this was for sales three items we sold and uh, here four items we bought I mean not item I mean the category and here we sold actually five items under three categories. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.